Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, and this is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. And today, I'm going to talk to you about the live streaming service that I use for all the live streaming stuff that I do, and a lot of other stuff as well that I'm going to explain as we get into it. That is Restream. The reason that Restream is sponsoring the channel is not because they reached out to me. I reached out to them and I said, hey, I love your platform. I want to be sponsored by you. If you're willing to work with me, let's do something so I can help you spread the word about your platform. And so here we are. So today I'm going to give you my top five, my top five reasons why I love Restream. And actually all of this stuff is kind of connected. So it might end up being more than five, but there are five major points that I'm going to get to. And let's start right now with number one. The first feature that I like the most about Restream is their multi-streaming feature. Honestly, this is very cool. You can see here, I've got five, six, seven, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, six platforms that I stream to or different pages on different platforms that I stream to. And you can have up to 30 platforms plugged in here. When I first got into Restream. The big thing about Restream was you could point your OBS or something like that, you know, whatever you were using to stream to Restream first and then Restream would send everything out. But now they have this, this web-based platform Instead of just, you know, having to use OBS, which is complicated, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you can multi-stream from this Restream platform to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, LinkedIn is a new one. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do with multi-streaming on Restream that gets you to a bunch of different platforms all at once. Number two, let's, let's go here to the live studio. The chat overlay is actually the number two thing that I wanted to talk to you about. So you can see here I'm full screen and then if I wanted to, I can do the chat overlay. Now, if you're wondering, how did I get that cool graphic behind me? Uh, I actually made it an image that I put down here. I can, I, I can change it to this. I can change it to Cred Federighi from Apple. I can change it back to this. And so you can upload these images uh, for backgrounds. You know, they've got animated images, just about anything that you could possibly hope for. And so when you start to stream, your chat just shows up right here. And you can actually, when you have your chat going in here, one another of my favorite aspects of the chat is that you can click on a chat and send it over here so it pops up on the screen and people know what chat it is that you're focusing on. So what I do usually, especially if people are listening, a lot of times people listen to live streams, but they're not really watching. So I, I read out the chat and then I respond to it. So the, the live chat overlay is a big deal for me. So let's go back to my regular graphic here. So that's my regular graphic. So chat just shows up right in here. If I were to go live somewhere, you would see chat start to populate. My number three most favorite thing is that you can bring in guests. And if you followed my channel for a while, you know, we've done a Painfully Honest Tech podcast where I had Zach and Viper uh, co-hosting that. We often brought in guests. I've had guests on a lot of different things. This is something that you can't do very easily with OBS or other things is bring in guests. So what you do is you click here and then you invite your guests uh, by sending them that link. They pop in and the next thing you know, you've got up to 10 people in here, I believe is the number. Uh, and so that's number three. That's number three. Now, number four for me is being able to schedule. So let's go back out here to the dashboard. If you go to events, okay, it shows you the events that you've already done and then you can create an event. So schedule a live stream is what I'm going to do. You can title it. You can say when you want it to happen. Restream usually has it scheduled out at least one hour from the time where you're, where you're recording. So it's about 12.08 now. So 1.30 PM, I would be able to schedule. You can make a thumbnail. You can upload it. You can put in your title. This title and, and description then goes out to all of the platforms that you would be using. Uh, and so for me, that's great because I can schedule, you know, I can schedule the entire Painfully Honest Tech live streaming platform schedule uh, all, at, all at once. Just put all the different things in there and then it reminds you when it's time, it's coming up to go live. And I just really, really like this option. Uh, you can also schedule for a later date 
and you can also schedule a recorded video. So if you have a video of a live stream or a presentation or something like that that you've done that you want to stream again at some other time, then all you have to do is grab it and use it here. And in fact, you're like, well, Jason, how would I get something that I'd already streamed? That is a good question. And right here we have video storage. So you get to store the videos that you've done for up to 15 days in the in whatever resolution that you actually use them. And so I'm recording in 1080p, I'm sending out in 1080p. So I would be able to download everything that I've got here uh, from 1080, 1080p. You can schedule it to restream again, restream again, uh, <laughs> right here from this place. So if I wanted to schedule this again, it would pop up that same window. Of course, that's just a test that I did. So I don't want to, I don't want to schedule it again. You can also, and this is something that I, th this is, this is going to be built into the platform uh, formally, but right now you can actually record videos in Restream. So all you have to do is go live and it starts recording. But because I haven't told it to go to any different platforms, it just stays here. And so when I end the stream, you can go back to video storage, go to your recordings and bam, there it is. One second worth of live stream. So all of this works incredibly well. You could run your entire YouTube channel or, or whatever you want straight from the restream platform. In fact, if you're running a podcast, let's say, or you, you and you have a video aspect to it, you live stream your podcast, but then you're like, oh, geez, I don't have my, how do I get my podcast audio? Do I have to record it here on my live stream or something like that? Uh, no, you go to your storage, you go to your recordings, and then when you hit download, you get full video download, you get full audio download. So if you don't need the video, you just need the audio to edit your podcast. It's right there. Or you can download split audio tracks, which means if you have multiple guests or multiple co-hosts on your podcast, you can split those audio tracks up and Restream gives them to you as separate files. So you can drop them into your editing program, whether, you know, whatever DAW you're using, whether it's Logic or Studio One or yeah, any of them whatever you're using to edit your podcast and then just mix everything the right way. So if somebody was too loud or too soft or anything like that, that stuff can all be fixed in the edit for your podcast. So again, Restream is a sponsor of Painfully Honest Tech and they have been sponsoring me now. This is month three of their sponsorship. I would not have reached out to them to sponsor the channel if I was not already into what they were doing on their platform. And I gotta tell you, things like uh, splitting out into different audio files, a lot of the features, the chat overlay, stuff like that, a lot of these features were not a part of Restream's platform when I, when I first started using Restream several months ago. So they're putting new features in all the time. And so I just know a lot of people out there are interested in live streaming and this has totally changed the way that I do my live streams and not only my live streams, but also my entire channel. I can do everything that I need to in terms of recording right here from the Restream platform. So if you're interested in Restream, there's a link down in the description below. It's restream.io forward slash join forward slash PHT to get there. And if you use my link, then you can go ahead and get $10 off if you sign up for a paid plan. But they do have a free plan for you to check out and see what features it is that you need out of Restream. Thanks so much for being here. If this was your first time here and you know you're, you're, you just wanted to check this out, thanks for stopping by. I hope you come back again. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Once again, my name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out. Hey there. Now, you might have just finished watching a video where I talked to you about whatever it is that I was talking to you about. And right now, something's gonna pop up here on the screen that's going to show you a video that's in some way related to the topic that I just discussed with you. I recommend that you watch that video. This video, that video, subscribe to the channel with the little button with my picture in it, okay?